Welcome everyone. We're studying the, the battle between David and Goliath. Uh, and today we are going to look at how Goliath uh, chose to intimidate uh, the, the armies of Israel. Here in the passage of 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses uh, 8 to 11, uh, Goliath stood there and called out to the Israelite troops, Why bother using your whole army? Am I not Philistine enough for you? And you're all committed to Saul, aren't you? So pick your best fighter and pit him against me. If he gets the upper hand and kills me, the Philistines will all become your slaves. But if I get the upper hand and kill him, you'll all become our slaves and serve us. I challenge the troops of Israel this day. Give, a man, give me a man, let us fight it out together. When Saul and his troops heard the Philistines' challenge, they were terrified and lost all hope. So here we, we see that uh, Goliath, uh, he is taunting the armies of the Lord. He's taunting the armies of Israel. Uh, and in what he is saying, you know, he is projecting himself as this uh, uh, invincible enemy who can never be overcome. And he's challenging the armies of God and he's saying, can you bring me your best man? And when you bring me your, your best man, you know, we, we are going to have a battle together. Uh, and, and the tone uh, and the language uh, of what he is saying uh, is, is basically proclamation of his own victory. You know, today, as we face our battles and as we face our uh, uh, giants, uh, it, it, it could be possible that in our minds we hear voices, we hear uh, words that uh, are trying to intimidate us. And you know, as we give uh, our attention to these words, and sometimes, you know, our emotions can come to a place uh, because of our thoughts where we feel that we can never overcome the enemy. You know? And it's very similar uh, to what Goliath spoke. Today, Satan uses the same tactic uh, in our minds. He brings in deception. He brings in temptation. He brings in uh, accusation. And as we are yielding to, to what the enemy is speaking in our minds, our response could become like the response of the armies who heard Goliath. In verse 11, you know, the troops heard the Philistines' challenge. They were terrified and lost all hope. So the question that I have for us today is, you know, are we paying attention to these voices uh, 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 of the enemy? And if we are, you know, we could be experiencing emotions of fear. We could be uh, uh, wanting to quit. We could be wanting to run away. Uh, and like the armies of Israel, we too can be in a place where we are losing our hope. Uh, but how do we overcome? You know, uh, though we will talk about David in the, in the coming weeks, uh, David had a very different response compared to the armies of Israel. You know, he did not give a year to the taunts of this Philistine Goliath. And in the same way today, you know, we can give our attention to God. And uh, a very good reminder for us is the way Jesus dealt with Satan uh, and his accusation when he uh, was fasting for 40 days. You know, in Matthew chapter 4, uh, when Jesus was uh, being tempted by the enemy, in verses 4 and 7 we read, you know, he repeatedly said, it is written, it is written. So Jesus knew how to resist the voice of the enemy. Jesus knew how to resist the voice of the giant. Uh, and this day, you know, that is something that each one of us must learn how to resist the voice of the enemy. Uh, and the best way for us to do it is by speaking the word of God. And whenever we hear a voice uh, that says the opposite of what the word of God says, you know, we come against it with the truth and we overcome that voice with the truth. And that way, no giant can have us. We are overcomers over every giant. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit who dwells on the inside of us. And God, the power to overcome, Father, that you have given us. And God, this day, we declare victory over every giant. And Lord, we cancel the lies of uh, uh, Lord, Lord, the enemy which is being spoken into our hearts and our minds. And Lord, uh, may your truth, Father, arise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.